sunscreen is for people that don't want to look like Malibu Barbie. I don't want to wear sunscreen because it smells bad. I don't want to wear sunscreen because it's so sticky and gross. I hate sunscreen because I just want to look tan. It's really cloudy outside, so I don't need to wear sunscreen, okay? I don't want to wear sunscreen because it makes my skin itchy and nasty. Okay, so these are all complaints of wearing sunscreen, and it's because you're using the wrong one. So you're, you're spraying your child with it really quickly, right? And it's clear, so you're not really knowing where you're going, but you're just going to town on your kid, and then you're just sending them out to play right away. It even says on the back of the bottle, you know, you have to at least do this 30 minutes before they go outside in the sun, but I see, you know, moms doing this right before they go outside, or they do it while they're in the heat of the sun. They're spraying their kid down with spray sunscreen, and it's still wet, and it's really shiny on their skin, and the sun's rays is probably just like a magnet to their skin at that instant making them burn even worse. And where it is a chemical, it penetrates into the skin. And if you have sensitive skin too, this is the wrong sunscreen for you because it's such a small molecule of a substance spraying out this nozzle and it's going into the skin and causing lots of different issues internally as well. Um, besides the sunburn, besides the hives, besides the inflammation. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. It is Latavia. I'm a little bit frazzled today just because I've been running errands and whatnot and I've also been outside walking and running and playing with my kids. What I have noticed today is that there's a lot of people wearing the wrong sunscreen. Let me explain. This is considered spray sunscreen or chemical based sunscreen and the problem with chemical based sunscreen ingredients is that they usually make you sunburn and give you hives and give you inflammation and give you rashes. It's not a good thing. Every single year around summertime, I get a call from a friend that is in panic mode because she put spray sunscreen on her child and then sent them out to play and then they come back with sunburned skin and she's on her way to the emergency room because they've broken out in hives and inflamed skin and she's just a wreck. We as parents obviously want to protect our kids, right? And summer is upon us, thank goodness for that, right? And we want to make sure that we're protecting our kids with the right sunscreen. Usually when I go to Walmart, if I see a mom pick up spray sunscreen, I have a heart attack and I will actually go up to them and say, here is another choice. This is a better choice for you and your child. As an aesthetics instructor, I have really encouraged all my students to wear sunscreen all year round. Fall, winter, summer, spring, it is needful. But let's get back into why chemical sunscreens why the spray sunscreen is not considered the best route when it comes to sunscreen. So this brand I just picked up, this is just the Equate brand from Walmart. So there's other options like Banana Boat and all kinds of different brands, right? So this one actually, I'm surprised, this one says octinosate, oxybenzone, and paraben free on the bottle, okay? which is great because they're kind of trying to make a difference, right, in their product. They're, they're trying really hard to not put all chemical-based ingredients in their sunscreen, okay? That right there tells me that octinosate, oxybenzone, and parabens are not the best if they're gonna put their free of those ingredients in this bottle. Since there's seven chemical sunscreen ingredients out there, they have left four of them in the bottle, okay? And those are avobenzone, homosolate, octisolate, and octocrylene. So not one of those is considered a physical ingredient. They're all chemical. 
And when I hear the word chemical, I just kind of cringe because it is a chemical. And so you're basically spraying you, yourself, your spouse, whomever, your kids down with sunscreen and thinking that it's okay. And then you go off and go to the fair or parade or go out in the sun and do whatever. And then you come back and you're like, wait a second, I put sunscreen on, why am I sunburned? And it's because chemical ingredient type sunscreens just don't work as well as the physical, okay? So there's seven really bad chemical based sunscreen ingredients, but there's only two good physical sunscreen ingredients, and that's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, okay? Zinc oxide is my favorite because zinc is the stuff the surfers wear because it's durable, they wear it on their nose, it's bright white. And I get a lot of people saying, why do I wanna look like Casper the Ghost going to a parade or going you know, out on the town? I don't wanna look like my face is painted white. I don't blame you. So I usually get the zinc oxide clear for my kids. So there are different types of sunscreens out there that are really, really good that have zinc oxide in them, but they're clear coated zinc or they're even tinted zinc oxide. So I actually wear like a BB cream that's a pure zinc oxide sunscreen and it's fantastic. So there's lots of different options out there. You don't have to look like Casper the Ghost, okay? So I just want to bring awareness to you all that spray sunscreens, okay, are not the best. Every year, I'm telling you, I get lots of different people and clients and students reaching out to me wondering why they have burned with a spray sunscreen, okay? And even if it's a lotion sunscreen with these same ingredients in it that I stated before, you're just not going to protect yourself as much as if you were wearing zinc oxide or a titanium dioxide based sunscreen. I'm sure my parents and my in-laws get sick of me, but I'm always like, if you take my children, please, here's my sunscreen that I got at like Natural Grocer. Here's the sunscreen, please put sunscreen on my kid. You know, it's always protecting them. There is such thing as a bad sunscreen versus a good sunscreen. And I personally just love, love, love the physical type base sunscreen ingredients and that's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So I really hope that this video will just enlighten you to get more of a physical sunscreen instead of a chemical one and that you guys will all be safe this summer. That's my hope. <laughs> Every year I go to like a swimming park or like a fair and I, you know, ask my husband, I, I cringe. I really do like have a heart attack because I see all these parents just spraying down their kids with spray sunscreen. And it really doesn't matter about the number, the SPF number. It just matters about the ingredients inside the bottle. So just remember that. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe. I'm over a thousand subscribers now and I so appreciate all the support that you guys have given me and all the awesome comments. And I hope you guys are having a great summer so far and I will see you guys next time.